Nate, we are talking about Assassin's Creed Shadows. I think this is the last video I'm going to make on the controversy around this game unless they really step in another pile of crap somehow mm -hmm. and do something really dumb. I want to clarify a couple of things. First off, no matter what you say on the internet, people will dogpile you. Yeah, right. Over three-fourths of people agreed with my last take of maybe we shouldn't cancel a game because it's upsetting. Except in very rare circumstances, I said my example of something like Pedo Simulator 2024. I would, I would advocate we make a petition to cancel it. It's art. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Nobody check his hard drive. <laughs> but I did want to say that something really funny and amusing to me, actually, was how many people got mad at my last video who didn't watch it. Because mm -hmm. I actually saw, like, because I can see, you know, how much did people watch this video. Most people just clicked on it and got mad. Or they clicked on it, listened to a minute, and got mad. There's actually points in the video where I mention, hey, there's a lot of valid criticisms around this game that I think more people should call out. More people should say, hey, this is BS, and this is dumb. Now, that doesn't mean you can't buy it if you really want it. I'm not here to tell people what to do with their money. I think that's kind of weird to do. Like, I don't really believe in doing that. I'll tell you if I think something is worth it, which I'll probably do when this game comes out. Something I voiced in the last video, I believe twice, was while AC has never been like a historically accurate franchise in terms of its actual stories going on, it does get certain things right. Like, it'll be like, this guy died in this year in this place. You know, we talked about that before, and that's fine. And I think we also talked about Yazke, and I think we said kind of what a lot of historians say, which is whether he was or wasn't, we don't really know. But we don't care if Assassin's Creed stretches history. I guess my issue with the whole thing, everything going on, is a lot of people didn't listen to that video. They just thought I was defending the game. I think there is a lot of valid criticisms around this game, and the people around the cancel petition, I should say, around the petition towards Ubisoft, many were advocating for canceling the game, many were advocating for banning the game in Japan. My issue with that was not asking for it to be fixed. That's why I wanted to talk about these criticisms, because there were a lot of people around that petition who also just wanted the game to be improved. You know, like, hey, delay it a year fix some of these problems. That I'm fine with. The people who just want it canceled, that frustrates me, especially because I've noticed that there's a very big political right-wing grift right now in the United States pushing for that. You know, where it's like, now it's our turn to cancel the game. And it's not Japanese people. If you're a Japanese person who is actually like, hey, look, it bothers me that you got these things wrong, I think that's valid. However... Also, Japan has a history of its own creators when soft white people in the United States are like, this offends me, get rid of it, saying, well, then just don't buy it or get over it. So my issue with all of this is I feel like there's a lot of double standards with this stuff. I feel like what people should be asking for with this is taking a look critically at the problems with this. Things like the price, things like getting the kanji wrong, you know, like literally messing up the language. Things about possibly lifting a sword from one piece. I mentioned in that video, no one bothered to listen long enough, that the art theft is a problem. You know, that if you're taking assets from other projects, if you're like, how about Zoro's sword? This would be cool. Maybe we should put this in the game. You shouldn't <laughs> right. do that. Those are the things I want to talk about today because there were people around that petition just asking for it to be reworked. And that's fair. It's just my whole point was canceling art is something that should be reserved for the worst of the worst. It's not something that should be done lightly. And when it comes to Americans doing it, I'm especially annoyed because for years, this is what the other side has tried to do. Oh, Stellar Blade's coming out. Oh, that's for incels and morons who didn't have never had sex and have never seen or felt the touch of a woman. We should get rid of this. You know, other games come out. Oh, well, that's, that's bad. You know, like, we shouldn't have that. That shouldn't exist. Oh, that movie. Oh, we shouldn't show that movie in theaters. That's a right-wing pipeline. And it was always, why don't we cancel this? And now I've noticed a lot of the people jumping on the petition, they were not trying to get it reworked. Some Japanese people were, and I commend you for that. That's called making your voice known. That's why I'm not changing my stance on this, because nobody listened to what I said. My whole point was, it's ironic now that a lot of people who advocated against canceling art now want it canceled instead of just voicing your opinions and getting Ubisoft to change it. Because that's what I want. So, I don't know. Hopefully that makes sense. Nate, I'd like to hear your opinion on that, and then we can actually talk about some of the things that I think are extremely valid around this. Because, 
again, over three-fourths of people agreed with me, but it annoys me how much people on the internet dogpile and don't listen, and if there's, like, a 15-minute video, if you don't have time for it, don't click on it, you know, like, because the opinion is the whole video. So, like, if I watch the first 10 minutes of a movie and I'm like, this sucks, I haven't seen the movie, I just saw the first 10 minutes, and I feel like a lot of people didn't listen to the point I made of art theft, you know, getting language, you know, messing up language with somebody mentioned in the comments, which I didn't even know that one before making that video, actually. Uh, you know, some of those other things like the pricing, the disc problems, all of those are valid. Like that stuff Ubisoft should be fixing. I would be all in favor of delaying AC Shadows, actually, if it would lead to a better game. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know who wouldn't be, except maybe Ubisoft. Yeah, well, I guess my thoughts on it all are just, I've always found petitions a little silly, in my opinion. 90, I shouldn't say all the time, 90% of the time they don't do anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and yes, I know the, the idea behind it is just, well, we want to get our voices heard. We want to show Ubisoft how many people are signing this petition and there's a good amount. Of, yeah, sure. That's fine. But you have to realize like it doesn't really do anything. Ubisoft is not going to look at the petition and go, oh, okay, well, let's cancel the game that we've dumped millions of dollars into. We're, it's done. This petition got signed. It's done. So I guess to me, it's like, one, you have to realize signing the petition isn't really going to do anything, realistically. Two, I have no problem with people voicing their opinions online, whether Mm -hmm. it's good or bad. If you want to voice your opinions, if you want to make videos on it, like let's say you're a YouTuber, or you want to go onto a YouTube video and comment on it, or Twitter, or whatever, and you want to voice your opinions about something, that's fine. Yeah, I, I have zero issues. That's with what the that. freedom of speech was all about. Well, yeah, right? exactly. And and not everyone has to be into every aspect of the game, and that that's fair. Mm-hmm. But what I have a problem with is people that take their displeasures with something to the next level and actively say, "You have to get rid of this because I don't like it." That's what I have a problem with. It's like why. What about the thousands of millions of people that like it? Thousands of millions of people is a new number that I appreciate. Well, it's a made up number by me. So so yeah, it's like, what about the millions of people that like this? Mm -hmm. Are we just going to say, oh, well, uh, these people signed the petition over here. It's done. You know, and and I guess times where it has worked, where where fan outcry has actually worked. Well, Stellar Blade. Stellar Blade. um, The Sonic movie. Remember Mm -hmm. like that, that movie when the trailer dropped and everyone just dogged on the trailer and then <laughs> but they so actually dumb. legitimately went back and changed it yeah they listened. they made it better and guess what fans love it mm-hmm. so i i get it you know voicing your displeasures with something can work mm-hmm. it absolutely can but the people that you're voicing your displeasures with have to also care about the fans mm-hmm. and their product which look i love assassin's creed but let's be honest here ubisoft doesn't care about either of those yeah which they sucks. don't care they, they, they are the most corporate company out there, except for maybe like Activision. Or EA. Or EA. They're the most corporate company a- out there, and they don't care. So, they're going to see your petition, they're going to go, oh, okay, anyway. So, yeah, Assassin's Creed Shadows. I, so, I don't even think they care if it gets banned in Japan, which is right. something I do have a problem with. That. Yeah. Like, you're making a, a game about Japan. It should be playable in that. I'm not trying to say that everyone's going to be happy with it. Just like when Far Cry 5 came out, there were a lot of people mad about it. Yeah. You know, about the cult stuff and everything um, and and the countryside, like the good old boys type vibe of it. Mm -hmm. People were like, oh, this is anti-American. And my thing is, if you want to advocate for changing it, because there were people around that petition and some people involved in making that petition did want it changed. Yeah, right. The problem is a lot of people wanted it just straight up canceled. And Mm -hmm. if you don't believe me, you can go check the comments. Some of the top rated comments on my last video are, yeah, just cancel the whole thing. That to me is where it becomes really dangerous because now you're saying you're basically doing um ad populum arguments Mm -hmm. you're basically doing hey look we have ten thousand people and we don't like thing thing not exist that's caveman talk yeah that's that's not hey we've brought some good points why don't you fix it and so there were people saying no 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 the petition is just about fixing it sure there were some people involved in the petition who only wanted it fixed Mm -hmm. the problem is the reason it caught traction was because of the people who wanted it canceled yeah, right. The big YouTubers, you know, the people who always talk about political stuff every other day, basically to get 100,000 views and make mm-hmm. money, which is not hard to do. You know, if I wanted to become overnight an, a right-wing YouTuber or a left-wing YouTuber, 
and just take a hard stance on something, I guarantee I could grow like wildfire. Yeah. I'd right. get a lot of hate, but it's not hard to do that because you just repeat the same points over and over again and that's it. That doesn't have anything to do with Japan. Mm-hmm. My only issue with Japan, as someone who's not in Japan, is just that every single time there's been some kind of media that the West deems offensive, Japanese creators said, well, then it's not for you. You know, this is yeah. our this is our thing, this is our culture, this is our anime, this is our manga, whatever. If it's offensive to Western sensibilities, maybe you're too soft. And they would say in the nicest Japanese way possible, because Japanese people are overly nice, usually, about everything. It's, it's not common you find an... A, openly an asshole right. you know, Japanese yeah. person uh, yeah. that's that's not common but they usually would say it in a nice way of kind of like piss off mm-hmm. like this is then don't buy it my problem with this is that's exactly what I said about Assassin's Creed Shadows and people got mad well and yeah to me it's kind of like well then why for both sides I'm kind of like you got to live by what you say like if when things are offensive to the west they're too soft and they should get over it then when things are offensive to you, I am all for asking for it to be fixed. You know, mm-hmm. especially when it's historically inaccurate stuff, like getting the architecture wrong. That's something I wanted to talk about today. They got a bunch of the architecture wrong in this game. That's something I expect Assassin's Creed to get mostly right. Obviously, they're going to make stuff up to put viewpoints in. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, I want when I walk into a place for it to feel like that place. Something a lot of people pointed out was there's a lot of architectural problems where it almost looks more Chinese. That's not that's not good. This isn't China. Not all Asian countries are the same. You know, like I know I know there's a lot of people who like think, well, you throw a stone in the direction of the Middle East, all those countries are the same. You throw a stone <laughs> in the middle of Asia, they're all the same. You know, oh America, um, North America and South America, they must be the same. They're both named America, right? right? It's like, no. All these places do have their own architecture, they have their own cultures and everything. And um I guess that's where I think people should be asking for that to be fixed. You know, like Delay the game. Fix some of the architecture. You know, maybe delay the game. Fix the language problems. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with delayed games. Uh, You know, I don't even think Miyamoto said this. I think it's a misattributed quote. But forever it was attributed to Miyamoto from, um, you know, Nintendo. Like the, well, uh, a rushed game is forever bad, but a delayed game can be good. Yeah. That kind of idea. Yeah. I don't know who actually said that in the world, but it's it's an ideology I agree with. And that's why this bothers me, because... The people who were asking for it to be reworked, I'm all in favor of. But the majority of the traction around this petition is grifters trying to push the game to be canceled because what they see is, hey, look, they inserted a black guy into this game and now this is DEI and woke. Mm -hmm. And so that's like those YouTubers who are pushing that narrative over and over again to get angry clicks. That's my problem with where a lot of the traction for this petition came from. The legitimate Japanese signatures who don't want to cancel but want to fix those problems, I agree with you. I don't get why that's hard to understand. It's just that the what I was talking about in the last video is that the traction around that, that petition was not to rework it. Most of the traction was, we just should get rid of this. And I don't know if that's really helpful. Well, it's not. It's not helpful at all. The, what would be helpful is not buying it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. You know, that's, that's the thing is, when you want to get through to a company like Ubisoft, they could care less about petitions, but do you know what they care about? They care about money. Mm-hmm. So I guarantee you, if this game comes out, now I don't think it will, because it has the name of it, Assassin's Creed. If this game came out and let's say it like bombed, like just absolutely bombed in sales, I pretty much guarantee that the next game they come out will be really good it'll be historically accurate it will not have any of that stuff in it they'll take their time with it because ubisoft is a company that only cares about money Mm -hmm. they go oh crap we messed up with this one i guess you know we should not do that ever again kind Mm -hmm. of a thing and but that's that's how you well that's what happened with unity remember yeah exactly once Unity came out yeah they had syndicate that came out you know somewhat quickly after it uh fans didn't really like it that much I think that was kind of their wake-up calls, like, wow, we released Unity, it sucked, no one liked it, Syndicate was kind of mediocre, I loved it, but uh, the fans thought it was mediocre. And they fixed Unity since then, but at the time, yeah. Assassin, people thought Assassin's Creed was dead. Yeah, and then a lot like, of people dead, just, dead. yeah, a lot of people are like, okay, well, we're done with that then. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving on. Yeah. Now, Origins came out, they took their time, it was a great game, I loved it. Uh, it, it grew grew the company a lot, a lot of new fans came in, a lot of old fans went about and rebought it. 
Um, but they took their time with the game. I just think with Shadows, when I look at this game, I see a lot of legitimate issues with it. And it's not just stuff that, like, there's a black person in the game. Which people get mad at us for mentioning, but there literally were people, like, calling him a monkey. There were people in the comments saying, like, in my comments, there were some people I even muted, because I'm like, well, if you're going to be this racist, to the point where it's like a character, you're obviously not here in good faith. But there were people saying stuff like, just like the blacks to come in and brutalize Asian people... You know, Asians are against black hate, but look at blacks. They want Asians exterminated. Yeah. I'm not kidding. These are comments I got. Like, <laughs> it's like, that's insane. Like, you you can look at the comment section, and you can, if you scroll far enough and you go through some of them, you can find legitimate, like, actual racism. That's yeah. my problem with it is, there are people who have legitimate criticisms, mm-hmm. but there's also people who are using legitimate criticisms as a shield because they don't want that dirty protagonist in there is how they view it (laughs) is genuinely how they view it yeah right like it's like that's not good and unfortunately something that people don't talk about is every country does have racism Mm -hmm. of of different kinds you know even i'm sure some japanese viewers would take ire with this and you can you can describe your opinion on this in the comments down below but tourists are treated well in japan but if you are a gaijin if you are someone who was not born in japan and you're living there now I wouldn't say you're treated like a second-class citizen, but there's places you're not welcome. Mm -hmm. There's places you can't go. If I did that to someone in the United States, it would be a lawsuit. Right. Like, my point is that every country is going to have their view of the outsider. And they're going to have their view of, well, you know, you're not one of us. And that's sad, but that's the way it is. And I do think that there's some people who have that in a legitimate way where, you know, they're like, Hey, Japan was an Island nation. You know, we weren't exposed to the rest of the world as much historically as some other places were as early. And so because of that, we're a little hesitant of outsiders. I think that's fair, Mm -hmm. but I think then you get into some people who are extreme, some who are just pretending to be Japanese people, by the way, because some of them are the worst Google translated racism ever (laughs) on both the original trailer and even on my video. But You have some people, too, though, who unfortunately, just like all people in the world, will have a tiny little, you know, spark in them that's the fear of the other. That's that's an evolutionary trait. That's an adaptive trait where it's like, you know, when you're an animal in the wild, you're going to be afraid of other animals that aren't part of your tribe. Mm -hmm. The problem is that some people take that and it becomes hateful. And then there are people who will use that hate to actually fuel discussions like this that are not in good faith. Those are the people I have a problem with. And I think a lot of those people are the ones not asking to change things, not asking to fix things, not with an open mind and saying, hey, you got the language wrong. You got our architecture wrong. Hey, you know, Thomas Lockley, someone who I don't even mention in my videos, because for me, I find his history way too assumptive. I find that he made way too many assumptions in reaching Yazuke was for sure a samurai. That's why we've always taken the stance on, I don't know, maybe, maybe not, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't care. Uh, But the problem with, you know, things like that, that I think people have legitimate criticism of was Lockley presenting it more as fact to different places. And then Ubisoft using some of that narrative to make their game. And I never saw Ubisoft claim that this game is 100% historically accurate, but they have made really dumb statements around it. They make gassing up statements like this in all their games, which I've always thought are dumb of like, it feels like you're really in Japan in this period. You know, it feels like you're walking through here. Like, it's like you can feel the history. Like, they'll make these (laughs) comments like this. Or, like, this is based on real history. But they'll be vague enough. Or they'll say, you know, we wanted Yazuke to be our samurai. One, what does that mean? But two, (laughs) those are things where I'm like, okay, well, raising some legitimate points around this language and the way these things are being said is not the same as canceling it or saying, Icky, a black guy. Mm -hmm. Those are the people I have a problem with. How do you not get that? How is that hard to understand? I have a problem with people advocating for canceling art because it upsets them when in every other avenue they argue, no, 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 don't do that to my art. Don't do that to the thing I care about. Mm -hmm. I have a problem with the people who want it canceled because of racism, not because of legitimate criticisms. And I have a problem with the people who, instead of wanting it to be fixed and changed and improved with the history, the architecture, the language, all this stuff, just say, no, get rid of it. If you're not in one of those groups, I don't get what you're upset about. Like, why are you mad at me? I didn't make the game. I feel like that's a pretty fair stance of maybe we shouldn't cancel things we don't like and maybe we shouldn't cancel things 
because of the black guy. Those are just the two groups I'm not happy with. That's it. If you, you know, want the game fixed, by all means, I do too. I would love if this game was delayed. Yeah, because then they'd fix some uh, problems with it. Yeah. You know, and, and some other issues with it too, I think. Does what I said make sense? By yeah, the way, it makes total sense. Because I want to know your thoughts on what I said. Because I don't want to just be sitting here like preaching my whatever. Because yeah. you, you actually are a historian. You know, not, not a specifically Japanese historian, but you yeah. have history degrees. You went to college for this. Yeah, you have, have a, a PhD in Yazuke history. Um, <laughs> you have but, a job in the field. Yeah. My point is just you you understand how history works. My, I'm not even saying you should get history wrong. My point is just if the only reason you wanted it canceled was you see him, that would be a problem with me because to me that's odd. Yeah, well, I think that um, my, my main problem with that is and this goes for so many different avenues. Everyone's okay when it's their side doing things or saying things, but they get mad when the other side does the same thing for stuff they like. So people that want to cancel Assassin's Creed Shadows because, you know, whatever reason you have to cancel and get rid of the game, you would be the first ones crying about if someone else canceled a game that you like because they don't like it. For whatever reason. So, yeah, for whatever reason. So It could be historically inaccurate. It could be... be uh, they just don't like it. it. Whatever. Yeah. It doesn't even matter, you know, because it. this is just how it works. You know, as soon as you go there and you, you advocate for something being canceled because you don't like it, you have to realize that someone else could just cancel something else because they don't like it. Mm -hmm. And that thing might be something that you like. So why would we cancel anything, really? You know, I mean, unless it's like an extreme, mm -hmm. you know, like you said, like pedo simulator. Okay. I don't think that should be made. Right. I'm also going to go on a limb and say human centipede should not have been made. Like, yeah. I'm sorry. It just, no. Well, yeah, there are some I, things that are so gruesome that they, it's just, what is this? Why, why would this, why was this ever made? They're almost like a edge material yeah. for gore. And my thing is, why did you even think of that? Right. You know, it's kind of, but, but anyway, so it's but like, I don't think we'd make a petition not to know. We would I just, just say, we'd look at it and say, why was this ever made? This probably disgusting. shouldn't have been. I'm not going to engage with that. Well, exactly. And I think, I think that's kind of the main thing is whatever you like and dislike in life, you should advocate for that with your wallet. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in the world we live in, especially in America, people, people view things by money. Mm -hmm. And if you buy something, then they say, people like this. If you don't buy something, then they say, people hate this. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm, I, you know, kind of to reiterate what I said earlier, I'm also fine with you talking about it. Like, if people just don't like the game, they, they, don't, they don't have a problem with the Azuke in the game, then by all means, let's talk about it. But then have a valid discussion about it. Like, don't just resort to being like, monkey! Because, right. like, that's racism. Or not listening. Well, yeah, because... not listening or resort to immediate racism. Because now everyone's just going to be like, okay... Why do we bring the discussion to that level? Mm -hmm. We just want to talk about it. You know, and, and he, maybe you maybe you have a problem with Yazuke in the game. To be honest with you, fine. Like, I'm, I can have that conversation, too. You know, whatever reason you have for it. Maybe you say, well, you know, I think it is a little obvious that they picked, like, the one black guy in Japanese history or something. Why not pick, like, any other samurai? Which it is obvious. Which but, it is. Yeah, but sure. it's like, okay, fine. I'm Fair enough. I can have that, that discussion, but then don't be, like, racist about it. Right. Like, I, I think, I actually think there are some legitimate questions around that. Like, why'd you pick him? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm fine with it, just to get that out there. I'm okay with it, but I'm <laughs> saying, I think there are some legitimate questions. BLM just put the torches down your okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I think there are, I think there actually are legitimate questions mm -hmm. of, hey, we made a game set in Japan, um, finally, you know, we've asked Fans have been asking for this since Assassin's what Creed One. What black guys existed in Japan? Um, exactly, <laughs> and, that, Google and I, I can see how fans could look at that and go, "This is a little weird." Right, that just the decision. Yeah, but like, like why? Right, you know? sure. But but in the same note, it's like okay, but they did, and he was a real historical character, so it's not like they just made up some like random person. Mm -hmm. You know, they actually went through and picked a real historical character. Well, and if you have a problem with that, too, you're like, well, I always played as a made-up character. Why am I a real one? Now, that's a discussion I can have, too. Yeah. Oh, I'm. Oh, yeah. I, in fact, I'm in that camp. Yeah. Like, why'd you pick I a actually, guy? That's actually one of my problems I have with the game. Legitimately. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with Yazuke being in the game. 
But I actually kind of have some questions as, why is he a playable character? Well, and I can tell you why, really. One, I, I genuinely believe that he was a black guy. I'm not yeah. saying that in a racist way. I'm just saying I think they wanted to have a black protagonist because it would be different than yeah. Sekiro and Ghost of Tsushima. Right. I don't think it was necessarily as much like, hey, we need a black guy. I think it was more like, what would make this different than Sekiro and Ghost of Tsushima? What if you're not a Japanese man? What if you are a gaijin? Right. And they even said in the marketing, like, well, him being an outsider will be part of the story. So, like, they picked that yeah. to have an outsider type samurai. Right. The same reason, by the way, that a movie like The Wolverine mm -hmm. is all about Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, in a way, becoming a samurai. Like, yeah. not really, like, not, like, bestowed the title, but I'm saying, like, he's basically working with royalty. Mm -hmm. He's called a ronin. He becomes the protector of someone. I mean, he basically goes on a samurai journey. Yeah. Like, right. that's obviously done to have a gaijin be, mm -hmm. be a samurai, an outsider. Um, and... I think it's the same reason they did this. Yeah. Now, at the same time, you also have things like this, which I want you to look at. There was a Japanese historian, Hirayama Yu, who I'm probably going to say his name wrong, I'm sorry, who wrote over a dozen books about this time period and is basically a historical advisor for different movies and stuff who talked about how he thinks Yasuke was a samurai, and he got dogpiled for it. Yeah. So to me, when that happens, this was on Twitter, when that happens, now it's like, well, then what is the discussion about? You know, and there well, were yeah. then there were historians saying, "No, I disagree." Fine. Yeah. Well, that's that's part of what history is. Debate. Yeah. I mean, unless something's like concrete, you know, like we know this happened. Mm -hmm. A lot of history is trying to figure out things. And how do you figure things out? Well, you find archaeological evidence, you find historical evidence, you find mentionings and writings or texts or other things like that. But history is piecing together the story. Mm -hmm. And you can only piece together the story based on what you find. So for me, if this historian, I don't really know anything about him, um, but if this historian says, yeah, he actually was a samurai and here's my evidence for it, I'd go like, okay, cool. But now if another historian comes by and says, well, I don't think he was a samurai and here's my evidence for it. Mm -hmm. I'd or say, against it, yeah. Yeah, I'd say, okay, cool. But that's what history is. Until we get some like actual legitimate proof. Like let's say we get like Oda Nobunaga's diary that says <laughs> today i promoted yazuke to a samurai promoted him like well, he's that, like an apple well, yeah. employee <laughs> like, but, you know so like, he met his hourly quota right. <laughs> he's getting a commission now <laughs> one dollar raise an hour what a guy um, you know, i love affirmative right. action that's what you'd say <laughs> right well then okay at that point i'd be like okay well then now we know it's concrete or he's you a know, liar because well yeah <laughs> people would say no dog is a liar no i know him he's a liar <laughs> But it's like, you know, until we get that actual confir confirmation, all we have is people trying to dig up what they can find and making their own judgment based on it. Dude, you should so, have seen Alex's you should have seen Alex's video podcast now. Yeah. There were so many people calling him a racist and stuff, just because he said like it seems like a lot of the traction around this is about Yazke. Yeah. And like maybe we shouldn't cancel games. Right. So I'm like, well now you have and some of those people were claiming to be Japanese, people play you know, doing mm -hmm. that. And I'm like, well, in the in the past, Japan hated that. Japan hated when white people would say, hey, this thing is racist on their behalf. Or when when people would say, hey, this anime is racist. This mm -hmm. anime is sexist. It's bad. Fan service bad. Look at all these horny Japanese men. There's so many people who talk this way. Right. Who dehumanize <laughs> Japanese people. And they say, well, the women are too proper. Mm -hmm. And the men are incels. I'm not kidding. This is an online racist opinion about mm -hmm. Japan. That a lot of people promote. And they use things like anime and manga to promote that ideology. That's racism. That's mm -hmm. racist towards Japan. But when people push their ideals from the West on Japan, Japan's like, hey, shut up. Like, right. We, yeah. don't, we don't care. <laughs> yeah. Right. And so my issue is I understand this is dealing with real history. And a lot of Japanese people take history very seriously. And that's good. I think Japan takes history more seriously than Americans do. Which is too bad. Mm -hmm. American history infrastructure suffers because of that. And a lot of people don't know our story. Mm -hmm. Or any of our stories. But. I understand. The hesitancy around. Ubisoft dancing around this. And making too many historical claims. My issue is. No. No Assassin's Creed to this point. Have I held the protagonist to historical accuracy. Because they were always made up. Mm hmm. I kind of view Yasuke the same way. I mean, we know he existed, but he's mostly a myth. Mm -hmm. They just took a name and a race 
and a couple things and combine them into their own original character. Now, when we get to things like this, when we get to things like this, I think this is a legitimate criticism. Hey, how come you can have gay romance as Yasuke? Now, I'm not saying that because I hate gay people. I don't care. You can be gay all you want. I don't care. I'm not gay, but good for you if you are. Right. I have gay friends. I have black friends. No. <laughs> but, like, I don't care. But, like, well, the historical evidence we do have of Yasuke implied that he was heterosexual. Mm -hmm. So what... Where did that come from? Like, there's not even room... There's not even wiggle room that I know of there. You just made that up. Like, to make him be able to be with men because you wanted to have a diverse romance system. Well, yeah, and that's and that's the problem with choosing a historically real character. Other than James Buchanan. Other than James Buchanan, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's the problem, is now when you have... When you do your own thing with your game, there's always going to be that question mm -hmm. of like, well, wait a minute, this guy wasn't like this. So why'd you do that? Yeah. Well, and even so, things when people... I saw people saying, well, he doesn't behave like a samurai, you know, he kicked an enemy while they were down. Well, they also say he's a gaijin. So mm -hmm. which is it? Is a gaijin going to act like a 100% proper samurai, even if he was promoted in a short time yeah. to that honorary status, or to that status, I should say? Mm -hmm. Uh, or is he still going to have the tendencies of wherever he came from, too, mixed with that culture? Whoa. <laughs> I'm saying that he was brought in by Jesuit missionaries. They're going to have their own ideology, worldview, ha happenstance, their own way that they act. The British didn't fight wars the same way Americans did. Are you saying that all people of that race are yes. wild and crazy? And, <laughs> exactly, yes. And rude, and they One, kick people when they're down? 100%, definitely, yeah. <laughs> No. I'm sure some of the comments were, <laughs> but do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, no, Like, totally. they might not have 100% yeah. the same code of conduct for combat. Right. You know? Like, the same way, like, if you get into a street brawl with a guy, mm -hmm. he might aim for your balls, and you might think that's not honorable. Mm-hmm. He might not care. Well, yeah, because why would he care? Right. Because he might have a totally different upbringing. Yeah. And that's kind of my thing with this, where I'm looking at some of this stuff, and I'm like, well, some of this is explained away. Mm -hmm. You can explain some of this stuff. But then other things, like... Hey, we picked a dual protagonist system for the only games we allow you to play as a girl in except side spin-off games that are mobile or in on you know the PS Vita or some crap. Yeah. Okay, well you did that because you don't think a woman would sell. Mm -hmm. Which Ubisoft has reportedly behind closed doors made comments like that before that female lead games don't sell. Yeah, especially surrounding Odyssey. So now I'm looking at that and I'm looking at the evidence of that and I'm like that's a legitimate criticism. You know, if you wanted to say, "Hey, why wasn't Naue just the main character because it seems like you are being misogynistic? Mm -hmm. I think that's a legitimate criticism that has nothing to do with Yasuke. Right. There's so many ways you can have these discussions. One, without saying just cancel it. Two, without jumping immediately to saying, if you're not with me, you're my enemy, like Anakin Skywalker. Right. Because there were so many people who jumped on me for that. And it's like, you know, I'll never meet you. I don't care what you think. Mm -hmm. like, if you, like, hate me, that's fine. I didn't make this game. But it's funny to me how many people got mad who didn't listen. And I noticed that most of the people who were in support of the video I made were the ones who watched it. Whoa, what a shot. You're kind of crazy. Well, but that, that's how the internet works in general. Mm -hmm. Everyone has their opinion on something. They're correct all the time. And it won't change. And it won't change. And you bring up any fact about any... This would be about any topic. And they'll literally like glance at it once and then be like, I know everything about this because I read the headline of the article you sent me. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, okay, yeah, you really know the subject, you know, and, and they will, then they don't care. And there's people on the right and the left, by the way, mm -hmm. for anything. It doesn't, you know, not even just politics. And we're mostly talking about but, the West with that. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's just people don't care in general. They go on the internet, they argue, they have to be experts. It's all like a weird, you know, I don't know if I can say it's a Rick measuring contest online. <laughs> Richard, yeah. Richard measuring contest with everything. It's just, I have to be better than everyone every second all the time. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, talking about Assassin's Creed Shadows is like the way to go with that. Like, it really matters mm -hmm. that you are better than other people about this subject, even though no one cares. So... I don't know. I think you just kind of described the internet right there. Right. Yeah, which is unfortunate. Which is weird. I feel like you should be able to have a conversation about this. Stuff. Yeah. Well, My, I have one what? more. I have one more valid criti oh, yeah. criticism I like. It has nothing to do with Yazuke. Okay. But it's a valid criticism, I think, about Assassin's Creed Shadows in general. So, so far we've talked about the language problems, yep. the historical inaccuracies with the buildings and stuff. Mm -hmm. Actually, some of the ways that people move about the cities were criticized, mm -hmm. which, like, you're going to get some of that wrong because you weren't there. But fair enough. That's, that's a fair criticism. 
Um, you know, like you want the world to feel historically accurate, but the fiction to happen in that world. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So like if an Isu pops out of the ground, out of stasis in the middle of Tokyo, mm-hmm. Tokyo feels like it's really Tokyo, even though that Isu is out of place. Yeah. That's kind of what I think people are looking for. Those are all valid criticisms yeah. along with the dual protagonist, mm-hmm. obviously just being so that they didn't have to sell a woman game. <laughs> right, which, yeah, I think is definitely a problem, too. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess for me on that subject, I would have just rather had Naue be the main character. I would have, too. And maybe Yazuke is in the game. Yeah. Like, maybe he's a friend of Naue, you talk to him, you interact with him, maybe you do missions with him, like he's like a character that's helping you on missions. I'm fine with that. Or even if you made like a Freedom Cry type expansion where yeah. now it's his story. I'm totally okay with that, that's cool. But I think I think it would just been better to have Naue be the main character. Which some people so. call her now we, which is weird. I've seen interviews from 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 Ubisoft where some people call her now way and some call her now we, and I'm like, <sighs> do you know your own damn game? Right. Yeah. Which Ubisoft is stepping in so much shit on. I don't know. It can't be on purpose, but like they're being incompetent about this. There were so many ways you could have handled this, mm-hmm. and even if you just said yes, this is fiction, but we based it off of some you know historical research. Yeah. There you go. Because I guarantee at the right. beginning it'll have a splash screen saying historical fiction. Yeah, right. They all do. Mm-hmm. So, like, why did you step in so much shit around this? It wasn't hard to navigate. It's just, yeah. I mean, the problems with this game kind of go all the way up to the top. You know, John Ubisoft <laughs> is just, they're not they are not handling the game correctly. Mm-hmm. That's another issue. The fans are not handling the game correctly. The company is not handling the game correctly. Well, what was your other criticism that I feel like I... I My other criticism, too, and and I think it's actually a valid criticism, which digital media people aren't going to care at all about this. Mm -hmm. Um, Why is the discs for this requiring internet? Mm Mm-hmm. Why? Like, what's the point of this? You know, and and if it has something to do with, like, well, then maybe the game is, like, too big, or or maybe that... Okay, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, is the game going to be bigger than that? Well, and that was all on one disc. But let's say it is bigger than that. Remember Final Fantasy VII, uh, you know, the um, Rebirth? Yeah, it was that on two discs. a couple discs. Okay, why not do that? Because they cared. Right. Yeah, that's why they did it's that. It's like, it doesn't make any sense, you know, and it, there's there's no reason for this. This is a single-player game. Mm-hmm. And I understand, yeah, it has to do with the uh, Assassin's Creed Animus bullcrap thing. Um, but nobody, I've seen nobody excited for that. No, no one cares, because Assassin's Creed <laughs> doesn't belong with this. At best, I'm they sorry, don't. I'm sorry, this isn't Blackout. At best, they don't care about it. At worst, they hate it. Right. The online integration, by the way. It's that's what we're dumb. talking about. Like, they're trying to make... Basically an AC launcher in the future, like how COD has it, where you go to every experience through the stupid launcher, and it has the modern day story on the launcher. Why would I need that? I have the discs. But they're not going to put the modern day story on the discs, so F you. That's why. It's going to be on that launcher. It's just dumb. We've criticized that before, too. It's so funny to me that, like, out of all of our Assassin's Creed videos, I'm not kidding, there's probably at least 7 to 10 that are just straight up negativity. Yeah. Like, this is stupid, what are you doing? No one cares about that, though. Whenever we say one thing that people don't agree with, like, hey, man, I'm a fan of the Assassin's Creed videos. Hey, I don't think they should cancel the game. Maybe, you know, that's not really the way. You racist! It's right. like, okay, well, then you literally have the mind of a caveman. Right, if that exactly. is how you black and white you view yeah. things. It's insane to me. When there are, like, legitimate issues with this. So mm-hmm. now if you buy the disc of Shadows, which I, I probably will, it's like, okay, what's the point? Right, and... and That just doesn't matter. When you're someone who's been collecting the series since the beginning, and you're a history yeah. major who has a degree who likes history and likes these worlds and well, stories, yeah. which is another reason I said I think both of us would be in favor of delaying the game to make that world feel more like the world that it should be. Yeah, exactly, because that's how all the other games were. You know, when I pop in Origins, I pop in Valhalla, I pop in 2, 3, doesn't matter. I, I feel connected with the game, mm-hmm. and part of that is they took the time, maybe not with every game but they took the time at least with the world to make the world feel correct Mm -hmm. yeah maybe sometimes there was glitches like in unity i understand that that were fixed but i understand it launched poorly Mm -hmm. i'm not saying every game is perfect no absolutely but i'm just saying when i log into unity even i feel like i'm in in paris I feel like some other people are in Paris too, but <laughs> but I feel like I'm actually. No, good, in... thing <laughs> okay. good, thing, good thing they didn't. Good thing they did this country, right? And so it's in Paris. But yeah, continue now. So now just... look, now it's like ah, he's one of us. They're racist. <laughs> well, I have to peel to all sides. So 
No, I don't know. So, that, so if I if I if I play Shadows, I picture you like I picture you like one of those rare like cards. It's like a a Pokemon card, and it has the little Ditto symbol in the middle because it's like it says it's like a Pikachu, but then you actually peel the sticker off, and it's a Ditto underneath. <laughs> that's like us. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Good. Uh, you know, diversity. Good. Uh, let's see. What else can we hit here? Uh, don't cancel the game. Um, uh, all right. Good. Obligatory Turn that N word. Um... All right. Let's say it now. <laughs> So, I don't know, it's like, a bigger problem to me is, I want to be able to play this game in 20 years. Mm-hmm. Now, wait a minute, why would you want to play this game in 20 years? It is 2024, and I, right now at the time of recording this, and I recently just got done playing Assassin's Creed 1. Yeah. Like, about four months ago. On my own, just by myself, I played it, I know we're playing on the channel as of right now. Um, but I played also on my own. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Even less excuse for us to be so bad at it. I know. Super fun. The game is literally almost 20 years old. So why can't I have that same experience with Shadows? See, that's a problem to me. Mm-hmm. In 20 years from now, I want to go back and play Assassin's Creed Shadows. Yeah. Or, here's another thing. Uh, you know, let's say I have kids and let's say they're into gaming. I want to, like, sit down with my son and be like, hey, go play my favorite video game series ever here. And let's say they're not into gaming, you want to force them to be. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, there's so many, that, this is a problem that I have. Mm-hmm. I want to play this game whenever I want. Mm-hmm. Digital media people and companies, they do not want this. They want you to play the game when they say that you get to play the game because they want to make the most amount of money off of it. Well, and we made a video about that, talking about yeah. that, and for some reason... When we criticized that, no one cared. You remember well, yeah, this? exactly. So, like, the things that we've criticized about this game, no one cares. That, right. That's This is what bothers me. Is like, you want to talk about the art theft, which there were a lot of people around the petition talking about mm-hmm. that. That's fair. Yeah. You know, you want to talk about getting history wrong, that's fair. Mm-hmm. You want to talk about Nawe. You want to talk about, you know, why did you make these choices? That's all fair. But, like, so many of the discussions go to the lowest common denominator and then play moral righteousness. Yeah, right. You know, it's like, well, what are you really trying to say? Because every time we bring up something, I don't care if this video is just in defense of me. Like, that did annoy me. Mm -hmm. Usually I don't give a shit what people think. Because it's like, to me, it's like, well, if you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. I'm not going to change your mind, really. That's just how it is. But... When it comes down to it, which I, I respect the people who like me, like I appreciate that, but I'm not going to like waste my time on people who don't, is mm-hmm. what I'm trying to say. Right. But what bothers me about this is like this is a legitimate conversation you can have, and instead there's so many people who are so up their own ass mm-hmm. that they go straight to like just not listening. They go straight to getting mad. They mm-hmm. go straight to like ignoring your points. They go straight to saying, no, it's okay to cancel this thing when I don't like it. Yeah, right. For the twelfth time, that's different than saying let's fix it. Mm-hmm. And when the people around the petition said let's fix it, agreed. But all the people trying to take this and turning it into like just end the product, no, that's stupid. Like <laughs> that's not how you solve things. It's it's never been how you solve things. And every single time this stuff happens, like banned books. Mm-hmm. You know what's really funny to me. I always see, like, outrage about banned books. Like, oh, well, this book isn't allowed in this school library. It's like, well, you're doing that now. Yeah, right. You're just doing that. You're 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 that person now. Mm-hmm. Why is it different? Right. And it just comes down to it's different because it's their side. Right. Well, and even, it's funny, even, like, the racism, I would call it racism, because I think that if I just say, you're just some dumb Japanese man, if I just said that, like, to dehumanize someone, that's racism, right? Mm-hmm. I don't care that I'm white. I'm just going to say this. I, I think people say, and no, <laughs> I just think some people, you know, took that and they were like, well, you're just a gaijin. You don't get it. You're an outsider. You'll never get it. You'll never understand. You're not one of us. Yeah. You're, you're not like us. You can't have an opinion on this. If you can't have a discussion with other groups of people, other races, other things, you can't explain your history respectfully. You can't work with people to try and get things better and fixed. And instead you just go to, you're the other bad Go away. That's what cavemen did. Mm -hmm. You're the other go away. Very simple-minded. That's like Neanderthal-level thinking. Right. (laughs) Like, what are we doing there? That's like the least intelligent thing ever. (laughs) Can you imagine if they made a game... I know it's different because I'm white, but whatever. If they made a game about America, and I said, Wow, this is really historically inaccurate. This is not very good. Maybe this should be fixed a little bit. Mm -hmm. And... 
you know, or, or maybe like say a, a Japanese person said that, or I said, Hey, you know, may, I'm messing up my own point. Basically, if I say we should fix this thing and then a Japanese person says, well, I don't know if it's really that offensive. Like, you know, should we really get rid of it? Should we really end it? And I'm like, no, we should fix it. Then maybe we can talk about that and agree. But if I'm saying like, no, 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 just get rid of it completely. Cancel it. But there's like a Japanese person who's excited for that video game. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, and they say, well, but I'm excited for that. Why don't we just fix it instead? And I say, shut up. You're from Japan. Right. You won't get this. (laughs) You stupid person who's from a different country. Yeah. It's like, what? Well, yeah, it's like, why would you even go to that extreme? I don't know. And and like, that's, what's the point? that's a genuine problem I have with that conversation is like, I actually don't think I've ever done that to anybody mm-hmm. in my life. And I'm being serious. I don't think I've ever had a conversation with someone who is from outside of America who moved in or like I'm largely Irish who like got Irish history wrong. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, you're not that. Shut up. Right. I don't think that thoughts ever even crossed my mind. Like when you hit that point to me, you're not worth listening to. Well, yeah, you lost the argument. Yeah. But if I get enough people to dislike bomb the video and get angry, then I won the argument. It's like, no, you didn't. <laughs> like, I, I genuinely believe the Captain America stance of, like, you know, even if the whole world is against you, like, even if 1% of people agreed with me on that video, I might have still made a good point. Mm-hmm. But it felt like nobody wants to listen to the actual argument. It feels like what people want to do is say, no, get rid of thing, and then move on to the next thing. Because I guarantee... This, like Hogwarts Legacy, won't even matter in a year. Right. Yeah, People just totally. won't care. Yeah, because that's how they view old games. And the internet just moves on to the next thing yep. immediately. Yep, they'll find whatever the next controversy is and they'll they'll move on to it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Do you have any closing thoughts on this? I don't know. Maybe my whole point is like, why were people mean to me? Well. <laughs> oh, I'm so sensitive. <laughs> Those are the noises I made before <laughs> okay, we turned on the it. camera. I went, oh, no, no. <laughs> I think just my closing thought is yeah, just... <laughs> yeah, Nate, drop your knowledge, oh, yeah. knowledge load on me. Hit me with give me my facts and logic. Hit me with a history shot, oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I think just my closing thoughts are just... Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to hear your closing thought. Okay, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, I don't like people agreeing with me. Yeah, yeah. That's the problem. I'm the opposite of the internet. I don't like people agreeing with me. <laughs> Um, I think just my closing thoughts are, if people want to criticize this game, I have no problem with people not liking this game. Mm-hmm. You know, I love Assassin's Creed, like just the company in general, or the, the game series. I mean, in general, I hate, I don't like Ubisoft. Um, you like the people who work at Ubisoft, who develop the games, who care about them. Yes, you don't like the executives I don't like the, who run Ubisoft yeah, and the company. I don't like the CEOs and whatever. And the company. Of the, and the company, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fair. Um, you like the talent. So I think I, the people who actually do the work. Well, yeah, those people are great. <laughs> but I'm saying if you don't like Assassin's Creed Shadows, let's say it's your least favorite AC game at whatever. Like, that's fine. But I guess my point is two things. One, I would advise people to at least play the game first. Or, or, watch, or at least watch. watch it be played first. Mm-hmm. You know, when the game comes out and let's say you don't want to buy it, or you want to watch a video on it, someone plays a, a let's play of it or whatever, um, and you watch maybe a couple hours of it, two, three hours, whatever, and then at that point you're like, wow, this looks bad. Okay, fine, fair enough. Mm-hmm. You at least like watch some of it, you tried to give it a chance, and then you, for whatever reason you decided, you said, I don't really get into this. Fair enough. Or maybe you buy it and you play a while of it and you say, I don't get into this. Okay, fair enough, fine. And maybe you even have valid criticisms of it Mm -hmm. at that point, sure. But there's so many people that watched a cinematic trailer and they went like, this game sucks. Mm -hmm. It's like, you don't even know anything about the game. You know what you saw in the cinematic trailer. Well, you're a shell for saying that. And that's it. Maybe I am. (laughs) I'm just just kidding. It's like, at the very least... Did your chat clear? (laughs) At the very least... Wait till the game comes out. Mm-hmm. Second part to this, and I'll say this a third time in this video because I think it's very important. Just don't buy the game. Mm-hmm. There you go. Fair enough. End of discussion. You didn't buy the game. Hopefully, if if you don't like the game, hopefully other people didn't buy the game then too. Mm-hmm. And Ubisoft can see that and go, okay, maybe we should correct something in our next one. There you go. That's it. That's all you have to do. Like, just stop being rude. Stop being angry randomly stop being like mean to people like that gets you us nowhere right 
Yeah, you know? it, I don't know. It's an entirely different topic to go onto a, a YouTube video and type out a response and just say, hey, I heard your video, I watched it, uh, I disagree with this point here, and this is why I think that. There were people who did that, and I fully respect that. And that's fine. Like, we, you know, we look at that and we go, yeah, okay, fair enough. Those are not the there people that I'm talking about no. in this video. I'm talking about people who just, like, who just, like caps lock angry. on, yeah. you know, breaking their fingers in half, ready to crack <laughs> them, because they're, like, just going to type out the most angry message ever. And, dude, I saw so like, many those people, people are so weird. argue with each other. Yeah. Like, in the comments for hours. Like, like, they're still just... arguing with each other today. I, I'm not even reading those comments anymore. But, yeah, no, it's, like, it's just crazy. Like, what's me. the point? I don't know. And you're arguing about something you never even saw a gameplay of. Do you think I was too mean in this video? I'm actually asking I don't, you. I don't think so. It's just, I don't know. I, it, I don't know. I'm just, it, I, I don't get it, is kind of what it comes down to. Mm -hmm. But then again, I don't get 90% of the people when they go on the internet. No. So I guess maybe this falls into the same category. Like, I just, I don't get it. Like, everything just becomes a fight. And, like, I don't yeah. care to fight with you. And everyone becomes so tribal with things. Mm -hmm. It's just, my side is correct. That's it. You're on the other side. You are wrong and stupid. And mm -hmm. you should die. That's kind of the opinion. It's like, what, <laughs> Yeah, that's, what it's like that's what people say. It's like, we're talking about a video game. Like, why, why do we go here? I, I genuinely I don't know. Don't know. That's I, kind of my only last thought I had. On I kind of wanted to close with one final thing that I said. I don't even know if this person just deleted their comment. It kind of seems like they did because it's not here. Yeah. Because um, there was there was a comment that I replied to that was kind of annoying to me just because it felt like they were really being disingenuous. Oh, no, I found it. So basically, I'm not even going to read the comment. That they said because I don't think it is even worth responding to. But I did respond basically to someone calling me an outsider and saying that I couldn't have an opinion on that. Yeah. And everything like that. And this is kind of my response to that, which I stand by. I believe I said twice in my video, though most did not watch that far as I can see from the analytics, basically. But Ubisoft deserves criticism for the art issues they've engaged in. But I don't think the hundreds of people who worked on this game deserve to have their art scrapped. But I do think that it should be criticized for that, and I think it should be fixed. And by the way, again, that applies to other issues as well, because I didn't answer a couple other ones too. I said, they did already apologize, though that doesn't undo it. And personally, to add this in here, I don't think corporate apologies mean much. No, not at all. So I think instead you should fix it, mm -hmm. not apologize. And I said, I think if anything, that should be a huge wake-up call to Ubisoft in the future that they need to actually pay attention to what they're using. They need to either make stuff up completely. Mm -hmm. Like, if you want to make up a building to put a, a viewpoint on it. Yeah. yeah okay, fine. Fair fine. enough. Or they need to use something actually of historical context, not lift things from other people, like historical recreation flags or swords from One Piece or anything like that. That's where I stand on this. Mm -hmm. Fix it. That is very different than all the people advocating to just get rid of it and trying to dogpile any of the people who aren't, like, basically operating on a grift that are just mad. Because there's so many people who I know don't care as much about this as they're pretending, who are making videos on it, to get traction and to get political points and views mm -hmm. so that they can make their video about the next thing, like, woke product fails, dumb DEI product fails, ha ha, 50,000 views, hey, I made 100 bucks. Mm -hmm. That's what it's really about. Because you can see a lot of these channels have transformed over time into that instead of actually talking about the things they care about. That was who I was talking about with the people peddling the, 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 what do you call it? The petition. Yeah. Like those were the people who were promoting it was like other YouTubers, other content creators, people whose whole thing is woke bad. And that's their entire livelihood. They make their whole living off saying woke bad over and over. Yeah. And they don't have anything else to say. Those are the people I have a problem with. And the people who are operating hypocritically when according to their standards on everything before this one thing, we had to operate differently. If we're going to start canceling stuff that offends us, fine. Okay. I got a list of stuff. Right. <laughs> I can make some stuff. Yeah. But, like, who is that going to benefit? No one. Right. Exactly. And that's my problem with it at the end of the day is that whole conversation is very different than, hey, let's take a look at this. Let's analytically take a look at this. Let's take a look at Ubisoft and how they act, and let's fix things. 
My issue is those weren't even the people I was addressing. And so I don't understand why people who want that thought that I was addressing them. Because, like, to me, that's, like, that's weird. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if you're talking to a totally different group of people and someone comes in and says, no, 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 that's not what I think. It's like, okay, well, then you don't think that. Then I'm not talking to you. Right. I'm not talking about you then. Right. I don't know. That's my that's my final thought on it. Anything else, Nate? Not really. I just I just don't get the internet. I don't either. Is what it comes down to. And I had friends who wanted to talk about this game who now like who are other content creators and stuff who said like you know what it's just not worth it. Yeah. Because they saw how people behaved on my video. They saw how people behaved on Alex's video and stuff. And they're like, eh, I just don't care. Yeah. That's bad. That's just silencing other people. Mm-hmm. So now those people don't feel comfortable sharing their opinions on this. Right. That's not okay. But that's where we're at. You have to have this one opinion on the game, otherwise, bad. Mm-hmm. That's not a discussion. That's not a debate. That's a riot. Well, yeah, that's that's what it is. It's just only my side gets to have the voice. And it's like, well, what about... No! Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, oh, all right. Well, then why are we here? All right. Like, why are we both here? Yeah. Because to me, that's like when children have a tantrum. Right. And when you're demanding stuff be canceled, usually to me, very rarely it doesn't, but sometimes it doesn't, very rarely to me does it not come off as if you're throwing a tantrum. Mm -hmm. That's very different than fixing it. I've said that a hundred times. I know a lot of people won't have listened to it. That's fine. This was like a really long video. I'm not even editing it down. Uh, This is just my thoughts on it. This is the last time I want to talk about this before the game comes out, unless they do some major BS, Mm -hmm. in which case we'll probably talk about it again. We love this series. I'm going to keep talking about this series. One, I actually considered stopping talking about this series after that video. I'm not kidding. And the reason I don't want to is because this is a series that me, you, Nate, and Jill all really enjoy together. Mm -hmm. This is a series that's important to me. At the very least, the old ones are. And I I plan to continue to enjoy those and any good ones that come out. If Shadows isn't one of those, that's a bummer. But guess yeah. what? Ghost of Tsushima basically was. <laughs> so <Right. laughs> I mean, it's practically like a Japanese Assassin's Creed game in a lot of ways mm-hmm. um, already. I already got my Japan fix, you know? And I love Japan as a country. I think that it's a really interesting culture. I think the people in every single part of the world will have different character flaws and problems because we're all human. Um, that's no different in Japan. Nobody's perfect. But I think it's a, it's an amazing country with very interesting history. And if you want to protect that and you care about that, I respect that. I just don't think the way to, to, to protect that is to cancel. I think the way to protect that is to fix. Mm-hmm. Or to punish Ubisoft. Don't buy their product. Other people don't buy their product because they didn't listen. And then it fails. Those are the ways I think you solve a problem like this. Whether you're from a country with as rich of history as Japan or China or Mexico or whatever. All these countries are very interesting in their own way. I actually have literally nothing against any country um, except a few countries' governments that I think are oppressive. Uh, But like people groups and stuff, it's very weird to me when I got comments like, you're a racist. It's like, how? (laughs) I think Japan is one of the most interesting countries in the world. You know, it's, it's fascinating to me. Uh, I don't have a fetish for it like some white people do. <laughs> right. Where they're like, you know, basement, like, you know, they dwell in their basement cave and they think they're Japanese and they, <laughs> you know, whatever. I don't have that, but um, I, don't, I, I, I do really respect it. And so to me, that's the one thing I would say I took actual offense to is like, I'm going to take offense to being called a racist because it's just not true. And I feel like it's such a dumb route to go on. When there were people legitimately being that way about the game on the other side because they didn't like the black guy. There really are. Mm -hmm. Not everybody, but there are people doing that. That's racism. Racism is not, hey, canceling art is a slippery slope. That's just a principle standing on art. You know, and and to round it out in one final (laughs) extreme point, the last guys I remember that wanted to cancel and burn art and art pieces... We're not great people to emulate. Well, yeah. I mean, there are not many people in history that do that are great people to emulate. No. And so when we are already advocating for the destruction of pieces of art before they're even released, I'm nervous about that. Mm -hmm. 
to me, someone who has a degree in storytelling, like English literature and all these things, even though I sound like a total dumbass half the time, I'll admit, <laughs> stories are important to me. They are also important to make well. That's why I think fixing it's important. But a lot of the times, these promotions come on things like, did you know that J.K. Rowling had a dream about a snake one time on a train? Lucifer talked to her, and Harry Potter should never have been written, and right. shouldn't exist. <laughs> these are the kinds of things that I think of. Or, you know, Mustache Man from Germany, who had art pieces gathered up and burned, because he didn't like groups of people. Yeah. And then secretly collected a bunch for himself that he did like. Right. <laughs> Those are the kinds of people I think of when we're act, when we're advocating for canceling art, and that makes me nervous. And again, I'm not saying that everybody wants to do it is a Yahtzee. What I'm saying is it's not a good road to go down usually. It's very rare that going down that path is a good idea. That's my point. And that's kind of where I want to leave it, unless you have anything else. Because I feel like I not talked really. a lot. Okay. <laughs> Let us know what you think in the comments down below. I'm sure you will. You know, I, I know that some of the videos are long. Like, this is a long video. But it bums me out that if you want to take the discussion on its own merits and disagree with it, that's fine. But, like, not listening to the points is so weird to me. When I made it very clear in the last video that those are things they should be criticized for. So, let us know what you think. Have a fantastic day. As always, everyone, stay shway.